Hello there and welcome back to the cabin in the woods of Resident Evil. Jill has taken a breath in this warm if messy cabin with, what did she say? A crude bed. And yeah, managed to save. So I'm ready to move on to a new area, I think, wherever, yeah, the cabin leads down. And there's still something to discover, actually, in here. Is there an object that I'm missing? Oh. Can I... Ah, I can jump down. So yeah, Jill got our combat shotgun and also she found a magnum, which is pretty useful. Oh, what have we got here? Aha, a crank. Ah, so is there any, is there any way through here or not? No, it kind of indicates something, but there is not any way through. Should I try and blast it? Don't know if that's going to be a thing. Guess it was worth a shot. Literally. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. But the crank... Oh, I can use that in that area all the way. Oh. Oh. Who is that? Someone, oh. No. Who was that? Is it the, the person who owns the cabin? Ouch. Oh. Okay. But he knocked me out. Am I supposed to kill him? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, I feel like the poor guy is suffering. Ah, uh, okay, I better take it. Uh oh. How am I doing on health? I should probably use that. Oh! Dead? Is he dead? No! Do I need to... Oh, do I need to burn him once he's down or something? Yeah, I think I might need to. Oh, okay. I need to get my items. I think that's... Ah, oh, no, this isn't the time for that. So... Oh. Oh, maybe if I use the magnum, that'd be better. Oh. This is not really... Oh. 
Yeah, I basically can't take him down. Oh, and I'm dead. So, maybe I just go and use the crank on that part where I was able to use it. And then, yeah, that's it. Use the crank. And then maybe I can kill him later on. And imagine if I'd forgotten to save. I would have had to do a lot of backtracking. Well, not backtracking, redoing. In the darkness lies your fears. Is that different from the last reload? I feel like it is. Always a slightly different creepy phrase. Is it worth me getting the lighter fuel to see if I can burn him? Or just probably just run past. Yeah, I think just run past and use the crank. And then maybe come by later and take him out. And maybe taking him out will open up this. This just looks like an entranceway, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. And also on the map, it seems to indicate an entrance. Yeah, it definitely does. But yeah, the crank bit, the pool. Yeah, it's not so far. Just have to go back through the woods. And I've got all the items I think I could need for now. Yeah, there he is. That's him coming through. Gonna get myself knocked out. But it's still weird why he knocked me out and then left me. And then maybe he is someone. And why is he chained up? Maybe he's someone I can help in some way. That's why it won't let me kill him. I mean, what is going on with his head? Like he's got two heads and a massive face. Oh, okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, yeah, so the game lets me leave. So I think if I was meant to destroy him, I think all the other kind of boss battles it's sort of locked me into those areas. Ah, there's a different route. Cool. Oh, I hear something. Yeah, taking you down, son. May as well just leave him there. And if anyone around here. if the game will end with oh well, that's a bit of a different view isn't it or is it yeah I'm sure that was slightly different um what if the game will end with Jill coming out of the mansion and the sun rising or something like that that'd be a good end Instead of going off into the sunset, going off into the sunrise. Is that a horror movie trope? I'm not really sure. Is there anything I should do with this? No, it's just a big old mud mud pile. Yeah, I am going the right way. So this could be, I mean, if it was a secret laboratory, it would make sense, perhaps, that the entrance is through here in this bit with, with the, you know, 
intricate mechanism hidden under the water. If Bond movies have taught me anything, it's the secret base or lab is hidden through an underwater door. I thought that was the thing in a, at least a few Bond films. Definitely in Goldeneye. Right, let's crank it up. She's going for it. with a pretty cool cinematic. We can hear the sound of the waterfall in the distance. Oh, I'm on caution there, aren't I? Just from one hit from that dude. Nice that the cinematics pretty much blend pretty well with the base gameplay, because in some older games, the cinematics are maybe too obviously very different to the actual game, but these ones seem to be blended in quite well. Okay, where are we heading? Oh, I think it was a lift, wasn't it? Yeah. I... Ah, underground lab it could well be. Going down to the basement. Oh, or not, going down to this bit. Wait, is this new? Ah, it's the other side of this area. And I've got a blue herbs growing here. You don't need to use them right now. Does that mean I could end up poisoned? Right there, mate. It's kind of looking at me funny. I can get another snake. Oh, okay, yeah, he was looking at me funny. Okay, I got a couple of them. Come on. Where is he? Are you there? Where have you gone? I go through the water. A raging waterfall. Looks like there's something beyond it. Ah, so I think this is a way I need to then do the crank again. But I can get back up now. I've activated the lift. I think I might actually need to take this. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know where that crow is. There's some kind of transparent creature. Wait, some kind of transparent creature is swimming around in the water. Oh. What have I got here? The battery has been taken out. Ah. So I'm guessing this isn't going to work. Wait, is there anything else? No, it says there's nothing else here, but there's another... Oh, there he is! No! Oh, missed. You missed, Jill. Ah, come on. There we 
we go. Damn. All crows destroyed. Jill Valentine, Chief Exterminator and Crow Destroyer. You've got a mansion infested with all sorts of nasty beings. She's on the case. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is the only way I'll leave the red herb for now. It's a shame I could have combined it with that green herb. Oh, okay. Is it dead? At least from that angle. Oh, did I get them all? Ah, cool. Oh, there's more. <laughs> yeah, nice to have the shotgun, actually, for this bit. With the extra blast radius. Are there going to be more? Ah. Yeah, I do not want to get poisoned. This would be Indiana Jones' worst nightmare. Oh, okay. Cool. Jill Valentine, also Snake Exterminator. Because at least they weren't as big as the other one that got poor Richard. So where are we now? I'm going way, way off the beaten track. Ah, it's, yes, it, it's still showing this orange, I think, because of the red herb I didn't pick up. Hmm. A low angle shot, and I've got a blue herb here. Residence, residence of evil. Ah, so this is more of a cottage at the cabin. Is that is that just a window? Yeah, it is. That's oh, so got a load of blue. Okay, that's going to be pretty useful. Actually, I'm glad I didn't combine those green ones because if there is a, a save point with the chest, I can combine them and then I'll be good for any poison. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what blue ones are for. This sounds like a save room. Yeah, I think it is. Nice. Okay, so... I think what I'm going to do, actually then... Oh wait, I should have dumped some items and freed up my space. What have I got? I've got space for three. I think if I go back for the red herb that I saw... Then I kind of know that that's cleared. Maybe I'm wasting time here. And hopefully there won't be more snakes. I think I took them all out. Was it over here? Oh, there's more. Yep, there's more. Okay, it's a bit of a death trap, this. Ah, run, 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 run. Okay. Oh, okay, they keep coming. I might just... Yep, yep. I think I'm just going to leave leave them be. Running seems to be working. Because I do not want to waste all my shotgun shot. I mean, I got a fair amount. But I think I should probably 
try and be at least a little bit smart, even if I am playing on easy. Can I combine a blue and a red? No. Okay. Guess I'll come back for that. With the how many green herbs have I got actually? So if I just dump, oh, I've got a few. I've got yeah, actually I've got quite a few. Uh, let's just do let's do that for now, and actually that for now. Take a green. Another green. And a third one. Do a bit of light, light crafting. Oh, not really crafting, is it? I'm not really sure how I feel exactly about crafting in games because sometimes it's kind of cool. I upgrade weapons or build things, but sometimes I feel like a bit like this inventory management. It can get a bit boring. And actually, I'd rather be doing other things, just exploring. But, you know. Is one of those things. Oh, I should fill up my. Even though I'm not really using it much, I suppose I should gather. Yeah, pick up all the stuff. Got some ribbon. Yeah, got loads of ink ribbon actually. I don't know if it's this generous generally, but on easy, it's given me a lot of supplies. Probably too many, to be fair. Yeah, so I've got everything here. So let's get that last... Is that the door? Yeah. I probably could have done just easy. What was it? A light stroll or something? But... Uh, I think I just didn't want to end up getting really stuck. <laughs> I just don't want to have to repeat things and if it got too difficult but it, it probably would have been fine but the experience is kind of the same really I don't think it makes a great deal of difference because I, I think um, the puzzling is what's kind of fun in this uh, so wait did I save oh actually wait a second before I do that, let's get a green herb and combine it. This is probably all a little bit boring to watch. Me sorting out my items is getting a bit, a little bit boring for me to do. But it has to be done. Shall I keep this handy? Hmm. Yeah, I may as well. Let's save. And... Then I'll be all good. Okay, yes. So cabin. So where, what is that saying? What location is that? Residence storeroom. Okay, yeah. In the residence. Whose residence it is, is another question. Okay, yeah, so there's a little bit to be explored. It looks like there's a locked door over there. I will need to find a key for it. 
the door plate reads 001. Ah, talking of James Bond, 001. Was there ever 001 in there? Oh! What on earth is that? That was the thing. Did that come from the floorboards? <laughs> wow. Is that like a sarlacc pit? In this residence? Okay, someone's a bit of a hoarder. The newspapers lie scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. Ah. What is in that picture on the left there? It sort of looks like a, a hairy spider in the bottom left. That's weird. Can I look at it? So maybe, I'm sure there is a star's connection. Just Wesker's been weird and Barry's been a bit weird. Was this all some sort of trap? There's a thing over there. Maybe it's a map. Oh, zero, zero, two. Yes. Take it. Yes, I will. Oh, okay. This is actually pretty big, this whole... This is a whole other big place. So yeah, those doors are locked. Got the map. Yes, I did. There's a hole in the wall here. You see a giant beehive. Oh. Uh-oh. Run away. I get them all? Ah, I can step on them. That's good. Is this locked? The door plate reads gallery. Hmm. Ah. It's just a cupboard. Okay, no more bees. Pretty much being attacked. Oh? That wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? was Barry. What's Barry been up to? He's corrupt. I knew it. Is he there? Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm alright. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. <laughs> Okay. What is up with Barry? Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison to the other group of plants, the T virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T virus was drastically morphed has drastically morphed its host's anatomy as well as its size. 
Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Shouldn't it say two main sources? Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There's a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling on the first floor. We're sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it, it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998, Harry Sarton. Okay, so quite a lot of info there. The T-virus, crazy plant in the, day, in the basement. Some scientists have been doing messed up things. There's nothing special. Load of books. Is that it? Oh, there is indications of something here. No, where the books were. Is it there? Ah. Oh. Aha. Look at that. There's a ladder here. Climb down. Yeah, why not? Is this going to be to the basement? I'll just let Barry get his fresh air. Ah, yes. So this is the basement. Should I explore the residence more first? I suppose I can take a look. I don't remember the last time I saved, actually. Wow, this is big. I think this was indicated as being locked. It's locked from the other side, okay. Got some crates, can I move these? Yeah, I can. I wonder if there's gonna be anything under them. Oh! Do I go in the water? Should I push this? To make myself a bridge. Yeah. Can I do this one as well? Bridge constructor jail. That is a massive box if you think about it. 
with someone you're really pushing up. That is pretty huge. Is that enough? No, it's not. I have to get all three. Okay. If you actually think about... It, well, if it's empty, it'd be fine. But if you're actually going to push a box this big... And it kind of feels heavy. The response from the controller. I think that's about right. But Jill has clearly been working out. Doing her stars training. I guess you don't get into a squad like stars without being pretty tough. That looks good to me. Nice. Not the most elaborate puzzle, but it'll do. Shall I pick this up? Will I need it? Oh. It is flooded. What will there be? Okay, is this where I'm going to come across the plant? Oh, the controller's giving off a lot of vibration. I guess... Oh, that's it. Looks kind of steampunk, this area. Oh! There's something. Oh god! Sharks! Do I fight them? Oh no! Shoot! Ah! Caution. Okay, I can probably take one more hit. I don't want to... Was there another? Ah, oh, there was. Have they gone now? Or is it still around? I think it might have gone. Yeah, let's use this. Is this a good idea? I feel like it might not be. Well, wow, this area is... Oh! Where are you? Oh no! Am I dead? No! No! <laughs> oh, that's not good. No fair, no fair. How was I supposed to avoid that? Okay. Oh man. How much have I got to do? Um, so I was... So I was in the residence. Was it just before I met with Barry? I think it was. I think it was. Fight your fears and survive. At least you get these little... Indicators, the not indicators, different lines for when uh, loading up. Kind of cool. So I may need. I don't think I need the poison one actually. I might just need. Uh, have I got. Uh, I've got the red one. Yeah, let's take a couple of them. Okay, so chat with Barry again. I don't 
I don't know if I can skip. Oh, and the bees. That was it. There was the bees bit. Oh, the wait a second. I before I never went through this door, did I? So maybe I need to put this over where there was the tentacle. There was something that came up from the floor. Oh, no. Yeah, let's try it. Jill's good at making her bridges. A little nudge there. Then can I climb over? And then, what is there here? Is there any point to that? No, I guess not. But it does avoid getting whacked by the tentacle. Oh yeah, it was here that I got the map, I believe, yes. Get the map, find, fight the bees, yeah. See a giant beehive, yes I do. Run away! Done! Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Uh, door reads gallery. Is there anything? No. Oh, I should stamp on them, shouldn't I? I stamp on it. Yeah. Okay. Make sure they're make sure they're done. And this is Barry. Can I skip this? Yes, I can. So Barry's definitely in cahoots with the mansion scientists. Do I need to read this again? Da, 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 da. Just in case that is necessary. And then, ah yes, it was push this forward. And do that. Oh, so this leads to the basement with the sharks. So maybe shall I explore the residence a little bit more? See what's going on? Try that other door that I didn't try previously. Zero, zero, two. So it's back. Hmm. Oh, there's, wait, there's a little door here. All right. Yeah, that I missed. What did, how did I miss that? Ah, it's kind of not so obvious in the wall. Kind of the same colour. Ah. Interesting. That sort of reminds me of the opening of Dark City. It's just like the opening shot, except it was a green bathroom. Aha! Uh, examine. Does it have a number on it? Yes, it does. So I can go back to that room. Uh, no, that's not what I want to press. Map. Yeah, so... Oh! Ah, no, no, no. Okay. 
<laughs> it's down. Yeah, he's down. Down for the count. Okay. <laughs> it's jumped. I think they get me every time. So nicely done. Is that a dirty lab coat? The shirt is soaked in blood. Yeah. That's just a shirt. Okay, let oh and there's even blood on the this side of the door. Oh yeah, wait a second, where's Barry? Why isn't he helping out? So zero zero or one is the door. At least the block stays there. I don't know what that creature is. Oh! No, it got me again. Okay. Oh, I guess I should have put it... Wait a second. I know where I should have put it. It's like... Uh, make a little steps. That's why there's three of them. Oh, no, 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 let me go, let me go. Okay. Bloody hell. I think this should solve the problem. Maybe I need to push it a little bit. Yeah. Can it be helpful if there was just a button you could press to start pushing rather than just going up against it? But yeah, okay, that should make my route a little bit easier. So, which was the locked door? It was this one. Use the key for room 101. No further use. Discard, yes. Not room 101, but room 001. Wait, is that a person? There's something there. Oh, nasty. Anything in here? Is that a zombie that killed itself, or just a dead body, or... What? Ah. A lot of dark, dirty bathrooms in this residence. Well polished mirror. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting observation, Jill. Okay, so there's something here. What, uh, do I look in the bath? It's full of dirty water. Ah, uh, really? This again? I feel like this is a bad idea. But maybe... Maybe that'd be something. There's something in the bathtub. Okay. That zombie's so gonna get up. Ah, control room key. Yes. Zombie get... Yes, he is. Oh. Panic shot there. Oh no. Can I not reload? Ah. Okay. Kind of getting creepier in this residence. I don't know if that's just me. Feeling a bit more creeped out. It's feeling all a little bit more dangerous. Oh! This shotgun is very good. Is he down? Okay, yeah. I think I do need that. Ugh. What have we got here? Self-defense gun. Uh, yeah? Oh, suicide notes. 
So did he hang himself and shoot himself? <laughs> I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave men knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond wait what? Ah, knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me and end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Uh, so that self-defense gun, it's kind of like uh, in Resident Evil, was it Roger? He had a little gun like that that he was going to shoot himself with at the end before he decided to run for the helicopter after all. Okay, so this is all all done. Is he going to come back? I'm not going to hang around to find out. Is that a cowboy hat? Kind of looks like it. Is he a cowboy? So yeah, I should probably go and dump some items. I seem to have a bunch of them. I don't know what this little gun is going to, what use it's going to have. Or maybe I should investigate it. Ah. Oh, okay. 22 Magnum. Di yeah, this is just like the one Roger had at the end of Dawn of the Dead. Two bullets. Check. Ah. 22 Magnum. Di one has been fired already. Okay. Okay. Um, I can dump, so wait a second, where was, oh, it's right here, that's useful. So yeah, let's save, I think. Dump some materials, I think I'll dump this self-defense gun, I don't think I'm going to need that, but I could be wrong. And handgun bullets do I have yet? Yeah. How am I doing on shotgun shells? Not great, but not so bad. Maybe I should leave the magnum and... Um, I've got the grenade launcher. Maybe I could use that against the sharks. Oh, and I've got acid shells. So that could work. Yeah, let's stick with what I've got for now. Oh no, I want some ink ribbon. There it is. It'd be cool if I could just take one out. There it is. So yeah, going deeper and deeper into the residence, I found the underground lab and that massive tank room with the, the sharks and indeed the giants and massive sharks and then a giant shark that eats me whole I need to figure out how I can get past that which I will do in the next part so thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed and see you next time for some more of the residents of evil See you then. Take care and bye-bye for now.